Hey guys, Sam Barney here at the Boys and Girls Club. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all staying safe. Uh, we're just keeping busy here at the club, cleaning and organizing and just prepping for when we get you guys back in our club. For all my Dean kids, all my main club kids, I'm missing you guys and I cannot wait to get you guys back. But for the time being, I'm going to be putting out some videos of just different stuff you guys can do at home or maybe just something to keep you entertained while you're at home. Uh, but for, to start off with, I got a video uh, to go over a new skill that I've been learning and let's get into it. All right, so I have taken it upon myself to teach myself how to draw or more so watching videos on how to draw, talking to Sherman, who you guys know is a phenomenal drawer, and just learning this skill. Um, and I am very much a novice, very much a beginner, rating skill of zero for drawing, so I know very little. So there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to be talking about that most of you guys probably already know about. But maybe you can pick something up along the way, or maybe I remind you guys of something, or maybe you can just enjoy drawing with me as we go. Uh, for starters, among other things, everything I've been watching, Sherman, everyone's been telling me, it just starts with basic shapes. We have, I mean, circles are a good start. You just draw a circle, um, and you don't want to really make any hard line. You don't want to just try to draw it like that. And otherwise, you end up with weird little parts like that, and then you gotta try to fix it. You just start drawing just little circles, and then once you find the shape that you like, you just start working on that. Just bring it around. Um, once you do that a little bit, you just keep practicing. Every day I've been trying to practice, you move on to other things like trying to make something three dimensional, dimensional, making maybe like a square. So you got my lovely little square here, and then maybe I want to make it a 3D. So I draw a line off here, and then I'm trying to make it parallel over this way. Um, ooh, that's not looking good, so let's go ahead and fix that line. Um, extend that out a little more, and then get a line there. You know, I'm not going for perfection. Uh, like I said, I am very much a beginner in this, and really what it comes down to is I'm just learning. Got a little 3D square there. Um, we can draw trees. Maybe just start off with a little base of a tree. Uh, just make a little something. Got a little tree trunk there. Uh, just You just got to start. And that's what Sherman's been telling me. And that's what these videos have been telling me. And then, you know what? I'm just drawing. I may not be any good at it right now, but I'm just doing it. And that's actually turned out to be pretty fun. Uh, and then another video that I watched, the guy tells tells his viewers that... If you really want to just start practicing, just start drawing objects, and he says, draw a lot of hands. So yesterday I drew my first ever hand, and you know, it's nothing spe spectacular, but I was actually pretty proud of the results. Um, as we can see here, I have a very, very novice looking hand, but you know what? I'm pretty proud of it. It looks fairly decent. And for the first ever hand I've drawn, I think it turned out pretty good. So today, we're going to go ahead and draw a hand. So get your hand out right here. And as you can see, I'm ready to go. I've got my object I'm drawing. And something that I've learned, again, for a lot of you, you guys may know this, but for me, it's something new, is basically everything that people draw, they start off with basic shapes, um, like hand here that's more or less a circle I mean I so I can just draw a circle down here and it's not gonna look pretty but again that's not what I'm after I'm just after learning this skill and just practicing and that's what we're doing here is we're just practicing so I got the basic hand here and then well I've got probably what uh, ovals so my thumb's an oval here, oval here, oval here. You know what? So I'm just going to start drawing in some ovals. And you know, maybe some of you guys know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I need to draw my whole thumb. But you know, I got my hand here. And so I'm just going to draw my pointer finger and just go from there. And then, you know, I got my finger here, we're going to just draw up from here and it's going to be a little bit longer because we know our middle finger there, oops, not doing a very good job, is just a little bit longer so I'm going to try to show that. 
And again, just not going for any kind of perfection, just going with it. Um, and something else that Sherman taught me yesterday was you draw what you can see, not what you know. So what he meant by that is if I want to bend my finger, I don't want to try to just draw a bent shape like that. I want to draw what I see. So I have an oval going about right here. And then, you know what, next oval goes this way. And then we have another oval that, you know, just kind of comes down. And this is just very, very rough. But now I've got kind of basic finger shape here, and that's my bent finger. And, you know, I've got a knuckle that bumps up right here. So, I mean, very basic, very simple. But something for me, I've never heard that before. I'm not any kind of drawer, so that was all news to me. So I'm taking what I'm learning from Sherman and from these videos, and I'm just drawing. And, you know, it's been a very relaxing and calming thing for me to do. And, uh, you know, it's something cool. I've always wanted to learn how to draw. I've always wanted to be a artist. I've just never had the patience, time, or however you want to put it. And, you know, making my thumb a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll go ahead and try that. And honestly, that's one thing that I'm learning is pretty cool about this is the supplies for this is so easy and it's so cheap that... You know, I make a mistake, you just erase it and you start over. So I've kind of got interlapping ovals here. Now we're going on up to the next uh, knuckle up here. So I'm seeing, you know what, I just shoot another oval on up here. And again, we're just, it's not going to look pretty. I'm not expecting to win any awards for this. But uh, I'm just doing it. And that's again what Sherman said yesterday. He was thought it was pretty cool that I'm just putting pencil to paper and I'm just going for it. Um, we're just gonna keep drawing away. Uh, and for some of you guys, I know some of my teens here at the main club are uh, pretty dang good drawers, and you're probably way farther ahead than I am on this, but that's fine. Um, you're more more than welcome to make fun of me when you see me next for how slow of a drawer I am, but uh, we're just going to go for it. So, and far from perfect, but hey, I'm doing something, right? I think that's what matters. So, as you can see, it's it's lining up all right. It's I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. Um, now we're going on to the ring finger. So, I'm going to be coming up to... Right here, I don't know. I'm trying to make it a realish to scale size and trying not to make it look too bad, but I'm gonna have to erase my little square up here so I can make some more room. But I see we're we're getting there slowly, slowly but surely. Just getting it together. Alright, so got that. I kinda wanna just complete that. And then going on to my pinky. It's, a little crooked over here, but hey, oh wells. Let's just keep drawing in. I'll just kind of finish it off over here. It's fine. So as you guys can see, just checking my camera yet, I have just a very, very basic looking hand. It's mostly to scale. It mostly looks okay, but really that's what I'm after guys I'm not after any kind of perfection I'm far from being a great artist but now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start filling in details I'm gonna start working on getting rid of some of these ovals and let's start working on turning them into some real fingers um, just making them solid and then we can once we kind of get through this part, we can start, again, just filling in more lines. And that's another thing I learned was, well, if we see here, I have a big old gap here, but here it comes in pretty narrow. So maybe, maybe I just do something like that. So you're not wanting to draw any hard lines, at least not at first. You're wanting to start fairly 
lightly and just as you start coming up with your full picture that's when you start putting in those heavier lines so see here we've got obviously my hands not a perfect circle so we're coming in here you can see I can just get rid of this line right here but I kind of want to make it close so I'm just coming straight down here and just go ahead and erase that that's looking a little better and again it's going to look a little wonky I know there's going to be some of you guys that are well I know that some of my kids are much much better at this and I but the whole point of this is just practice all right this is completely new to me and maybe by the time by the time we get our clubs clubs back open I can start doing some drawing with you guys maybe teaching some of you guys some of the stuff I've learned or maybe you can teach me some new stuff and that's kind of what I'm looking for well, let's go ahead and thicken up my thumb here I have pretty big hands so let's go ahead and just thicken that up a little all right so we've got more or less all the ovals erased and kind of going into just one basic looking hand here just fine again does not need to be perfect obviously I've got a square in my finger there and then the next thing I'm gonna do is you know I'm looking at it and I'm like hey you know what I've got fingernails so let's draw fingernails so I've got up here I got a fingernail about like that fingernails about like that and obviously most of you guys I'm assuming got fingernails too and that's kind of something that makes it look like a like you got a hand there. So we do that and that's looking a lot better. Let's get my thumb in here and it's at a bit of an angle. So let's go ahead and just kind of cut it off like that. Um, so we got our fingernails starting to look more and more like a hand. And next thing I'm noticing, you know what? I got some different knuckles. I got lines through here. So I've got a knuckle going right here, about right here. The joint, I guess, won't be knuckle technically here and then I've got my knuckles actual knuckles going into this area and I kind of want to thicken up my finger here again I have fairly large hands so I want to try to reflect that in my drawing it's looking better okay and let's go ahead and throw down some more lines here and then we're getting down here we're not necessarily having lines down here and it's just kind of a area where the skin folds and wrinkles so do that oh can't forget my thumb I've got lines here my thumb over here and again kind of well here so you know that's pretty basic but I feel like we've got a good hand going here and you know as we go maybe I'll add extend my hand down through this way um, start erasing some more stuff and I'm looking at it, you know what, it's still looking fairly roundish. And I'm looking here, well, you guys can see I have some space here that's not needed because of the way my hand's shaped. So let's go ahead and erase down through there. Start just filling in a little, you know, and just as we go, I'm just slowly filling in, just slowly making it look a little more natural. Um, I know my finger juts off this way, but if you look at my hand, <laughs> my pinky just kind of juts off anyways. So that's that's not looking too bad, but maybe I can fill in a little more right here. Just get it. Just slowly but surely just build into this. Um, you know, looking a little long in here, so let's go ahead and erase some more. Kind of looking like an alien hand, but oh wells. Um... So, and one last little detail I want to do, just because I do like it, is I want to add my ring here. So, my ring is probably going to sit about right here. And you know what, I'm just drawing in basic shape. Again, not going for perfection at all. Not going for making it look as good as something maybe like Sherman could draw. But we're going to make it so it just looks okay. And that's, that's what we're after here. All right, so, you know, I went through that pretty fast or maybe 
for some of you I went through that pretty slow but here's my hand um, I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm gonna be keep on doing more drawing I'm gonna keep practicing drawing my hand over the next weeks months whatever it is but even when club opens, that's why I say months, even when the club reopens, I'm going to keep practicing. And if you guys want to sit down with me and practice, that's fine. I'd love that. Maybe you guys can teach me something along the way. But that's probably going to about do it. And uh, hopefully I, I look forward to seeing you guys.